Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna imagine in this question um, the area of a square with side lengths. So we have some square and it has an area of an unknown amount. Um, each of these is represents a side length. Um, so what I'll actually do, I like u, I'm gonna try u. So the side length here um, is a half plus three x, okay? Which means that it's the same, right? Because squares have the same side lengths all the way around. So the area of a square or any quadrilateral is the length times the width. Um, and specifically for a square, it's really just the width or the length squared because this happens to be square, this object. Um, so let's jump to the next page here. We have one half plus three x squared. Now we're gonna talk about binomial um, expansion again. We have a little rule that, at least when it's to the power of two, you can use binomial expansion in, in this terms with your, your two a values. You can say it's gonna equal a to the power of n plus two a to the n minus one, b to the n minus one, plus b squared. And in, in the case we have, we're using the value of two here. So this is when it's to the power of two. Um, this is just gonna be one. So really, if it was to the power of two, let's say this was a plus b to the power of two, you're gonna end up, and I actually wrote the number two in there, it should have been nine. I was gonna say a squared plus two a b plus b squared, okay? So with that being said, we can just actually equate values. A is actually our half, so this is where it'll show up, and B is actually our three X, so this is where it'll show up. So if we were to use this binomial expansion, we're gonna end up with one half squared plus two times one half, and then our B term, I should have color coded it, I'll do this part in green, is three X plus three X squared, okay? So instead of using like a distributive property, we're using a binomial expansion. Um, and then we kind of start to equate. A half squared is actually just a half, plus in this case here, two times a half is just a value of one. So this is because it says three x, and then three x squared is actually nine x squared. Um, I'll reverse the order just because when we write algebraic expressions, we usually start with the value uh, that has the variable to the highest um, exponent. So let's say we write it out, we say nine x squared plus three x plus a quarter. And this would be the area of that circle um, with that side length. So that's all there is. We just use some binomial expansion to solve this question.